Chapter 201, Resting at the Shallow Beach While Lending Goo Worms Five days ago, Fang Yuan rebirthed at Qing Mao Mountain. Back then, he worked together with Bai Ning Bing in the Blood Barrier, and after his slaughter he obtained much post-battle loot. But these goo worms all had injuries in them. For the past five days, Fang Yuan had been floating around Jiang Mountain, so they lacked food and all died consecutively. For healing goo worms, Fang Yuan always lacked one, and he did not find one he liked either. A pity my goo worms all died in the self-detonation. Otherwise, I would not be injured to this extent. Bai Ning Bing sighed towards the sky. But Fang Yuan laughed, don't be too pessimistic, not everything needs goo worms to be resolved. Oh. Bai Ning Bing looked over with a questioning gaze. He saw Fang Yuan secretly activating his primeval essence, shooting something out of his mouth as a red light appeared. A flower goo resembling a lantern, rotating on its own and floating in midair. It was the Tusita flower. Fang Yuan willed and the Tusita flower glowed in red as several objects flew out of it while wrapped in bright red light. There were bandages, medicine cans, and small medicine bottles. Small medicine bottles contain powder that can disinfect and diminish inflammation, you just need to use a little. In the medicine cans, there is medicine paste that can stop bleeding and form clots. You should know how to use a bandage right? Fang Yuan on saying so, split these items into two and gave a portion to Bai Ning Bing. These are all methods used by mortals, but I did learn about them in the academy. Bai Ning Bing received them, pouting, you sure planned ahead. Saying so, she then opened the large medicine can and a disgusting smell rushed up into her nose, causing her to jump back and scream, why is it so smelly? Fang Yuan laughed, not replying. He took off his shirt, pouring the powder from the small medicine can, causing his wounds to feel a sharp burning pain like fire. Next he opened the big medicine can, where inside was the mud-like medicine paste that was a blackish-green and smelled horrible. But Fang Yuan was used to it in his previous life, not even flinching. He took out a handful of blackish-green paste and spread it on his wounds, his actions being extremely refined. Next, he used the bandage and wrapped it many layers over the wound, quickly taking care of his injury. Because of the medicine paste, the injury area felt a cooling sensation, quickly replacing the fiery pain felt earlier. Your paste is quite useful. On one side, Bai Ning Bing was still taking care of her injury as she gasped. Her robe was torn, and after applying the medicine, her breasts and nipples were almost exposed, but she did not have any reaction to it. While using the medicine, she even sighed, sigh, thinking about it now, if only we had a healing goo, that would be great. Fang Yuan took a look at her before activating the Tusita flower and taking out two sets of clothes that he had prepared sufficiently, having intended to leave the village in the first place, so he bought many sets of clothing. Plus Bai Ning Bing and his age were quite close together, as they had similar body size, his clothes suited her well too. Take this. He handed a set of clothes to Bai Ning Bing. Bai Ning Bing took the clothing and chuckled, feeling slightly shocked, to think you prepared to this extent. Precaution averts perils on the safe side, Fang Yuan replied casually, taking off his remaining clothes and even his drenched socks, into new sets. Immediately, with new clothing, he felt much better. Bai Ning Bing also changed her clothes, throwing the torn white robe on the beach. But her expression was not looking good, for although they were out of danger at the moment, after changing clothes and bandaging her injuries she also noticed the changes to her body. What do you plan to do from now? When are you returning the Yang Gu to me? She walked up, frowning as she asked. Fang Yuan picked up the black robe and socks that he changed out of, didn't I say it before, we are going to buy Gu Mountain now. As for that Yang Gu, at least wait until I am rank 3 first. 
By Ningbing frowned even more tightly, her pitch getting higher, I have to wait until you are rank 3. She had never thought that one day, she would get into such an awkward state. A proper man, transformed into a woman. After the crisis of life and death was over, this strange sensation entered her mind. If possible, she did not want to endure it for even a second more. Fang Yuan raised his head and looked at her, not speaking. He walked to the side of the river and used the water to wash his clothing. Although there were holes on his black robe, it could still be fixed, unlike by Ning Bing's white robe. He did not know how long he would need to stay in the wilderness, so he could not afford to waste the clothing. Bai Ningbing was a smart person, and Fang Yuan's silence made her realize her true predicament. Right now, she had ranked three cultivation but not a single Gu Worm. Even if she had, she could not do anything to Fang Yuan. The young Gu was refined already by Fang Yuan, so as long as he willed it, it could instantly detonate itself. The Yin Yang rotation Gu was a pair, and if it was destroyed, by Ning Bing would never be able to return into being a male. Looking at Fang Yuan's back view, Bai Ning Bing gritted her teeth, feeling extremely frustrated. To think that she, the Bai clan genius, had gotten into such a state, manipulated by others. This feeling caused the arrogant and prideful Bai Ning Bing to feel extremely unhappy. Now we do not have a healing goo, so if we get into danger, what can we do? The problem is not just that, but I do not have a single goo worm with me, I have no fighting strength. No, I have to capture some wild goo worms and refine them, otherwise I won't even have any strength to protect myself. Bai Ning Bing was rambling on when her stomach suddenly started growling. Damn! She held her stomach, feeling a strong sense of hunger, hey, guy who is washing clothes, take out some jerky, I'm starving. While floating in the raft for five days, they relied on Fang Yuan's jerky as food. Although the jerky was tough, with the texture of wood when chewed on, it could fill the stomach and provide energy. Fang Yuan stood up, using his hands to wring the water off the black robe, shrugging it around before answering by Ning Bing, why are you so anxious? Hold this. Bai Ning Bing frowned, taking the black robe in reluctance. Fang Yuan called out the Tusita flower again, taking out a bag of jerky. Bai Ning Bing grabbed it immediately, chewing on the tough meat. She chewed until her jaws hurt, but she was extremely satisfied. Fang Yuan looked at her, smiling. When did this Bai clan genius ever starve before? Thinking of his previous life, he knew exactly how she felt. Bai Ning Bing ate another piece of jerky, licking her dry lips, this reduces hunger, but is way too tough. Sigh, having meat to eat, it is already a huge blessing. Fang Yuan's smile became even more intense, for under Bai Ning Bing's astonished gaze, he took out an iron pot. You even brought a pot. That's great. We can use water to cook the dried meat. We can just take water from the river, but we need firewood to start a fire, so we'll have to chop down some wood. Saying so, Bai Ning Bing looked around, feeling troubled. They were at a shallow beach, with one side being water and the other being a tall cliff. On top of the cliff was dense vegetation, but there was not a single piece of wood on the beach itself. Bai Ning Bing wanted wood, so she would need to climb up the cliff and chop the trees. If this was back when she still had her goo worms, it would be a piece of cake, easily done. But now that she had nothing, wanting to climb up this slippery cliff was too tough. Bai Ning Bing felt troubled secretly, but at this moment Fang Yuan took out some coal stones. Coal stones were better than wood, and Bai Ning Bing was naturally surprised when she saw this. Soon after, Fang Yuan took out some kerosene and flint as well as a metal rack. Soon, he set it up. On seeing this, Bai Ning Bing became serious, her blue eyes staring at Fang Yuan, your preparations are way too much, did you already have had thoughts of leaving Qing Mao Mountain long ago? 
Fang Yuan's preparation was overboard. With him bringing even these things, the smart by Ning Bing found something amiss obviously. What do you think? Fang Yuan smiled, not answering her, but pointing to the metal pot, you can go get some water now. By Ning Bing gritted her teeth, Fang Yuan's attitude was annoying her. She took some water, while Fang Yuan had already started a fire. First he got the water to boil in the pot, then he threw a bag of jerky inside. Soon after, the smell of fragrant meat could be felt. Bai Ning Bing sniffed, subconsciously licking her lips. Fang Yuan took out his chopsticks and ladle, and started having a feast with Bai Ning Bing. The cooked meat was soft and could be easily swallowed with a few bites, while the boiling meat soup caused the two to feel warm on the inside. The only problem was that this river water had some sand in it, giving a gritty texture when eating. But under such situations, having such treatment was already nothing to be displeased about. I'm not that full yet, let's cook another half bag of meat. Bai Ning Bing was not satisfied yet, saying as she touched her tummy. Fang Yuan immediately rejected, no more, we have to conserve our food. Why so stingy? See this forest behind us? How many wild animals could there be? Bai Ning Bing said in displeasure. Fang Yuan gave her a stare, of course I know there's animals in there, but that also means wild beasts. How many wild beasts can you take care of now? What if we meet a beast group? What if we get ambushed by wild goo worms? Even if we kill the wild beasts, if their meat have poison, can we eat it? Can you differentiate between poisonous goo worms? Bai Ning Bing stood dumbfounded, unable to retort. Fang Yuan snorted. Bai Ning Bing was the Bai clan genius, so she naturally was full of utter arrogance, thus this was enough already. If he continued lecturing her, she would hit her limit. He sat down cross-legged, taking down the pan and hanging his black robe on the metal rack, using the residue heat from the coal stone to dry it. Fang Yuan continued. It's getting late. Let's stay here for tonight and continue exploring the forest tomorrow. I specially chose this area with cliff on three sides, so there would be little wild beasts that can reach us, thus this is relatively safer. But we cannot be complacent, let's keep watch in intervals. This was the benefit of having two people. Fang Yuan willed, and summoned the chainsaw golden centipede and sky canopy goo. These two goo worms, I'll lend them to you for the time being. Get familiar with them, Fang Yuan said. He was only a rank 1 initial stage cultivation, so it was near impossible for him to use a rank 3 goo worm. Even with a grade recovery speed and the heavenly essence treasure lotus, he could not display the true power of a rank 3 goo worm. He might as well give it to the rank 3 by Ning Bing. Bai Ning Bing received the Gu Worm, looking deeply at Fang Yuan. Between Gu Masters, Gu Worms could be lent. In the Gu Worms, a Gu Masters will resides. As long as the Master acknowledges it, others can also communicate with the Gu Worm and use their powers. Of course, it is not as convenient as a Gu Worm one refines personally. Also, as long as the original owner wills it and changes his mind, the others would immediately lose their ability to command the goo worm. But even so, goo masters rarely lent their goo worms to others. Although they were forced by the situation, Fang Yuan's actions were extremely unrestrained and this caused by Ning Bing to become alert. Chapter 202, Crocodile Killing Intent, A Young Girl's Sorrowful Call Chainsaw Golden Centipede. Bai Ning Bing mumbled with a complex expression as she stroked the dark golden carapace of this rank 3 goo. She had suffered quite a lot due to this chainsaw golden centipede during her battle with Fang Yuan. Who would have thought that there would be a time where Fang Yuan himself would lend it to her? The way Fang Yuan used the chainsaw golden centipede had left a lasting impression on her. 
By Ning Bing immediately copied Fang Yuan's method and waved the chainsaw golden centipede like a greatsword. From time to time, she willed the chainsaw golden centipede to lengthen or shorten, waving it around like a whip. The silver blades of the chainsaw rotated and cut through the air, producing a strange distortion of the light. Sky Canopy Goo She put the sky canopy goo in her aperture, and inwardly poured white silver primeval essence on it with her brows raised. Immediately, her body was covered with an armor of white light. Fate really works mysteriously. To think, there would be a day where I would be using your goo, she sighed while looking towards Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan was silent, he was sitting cross-legged beside the warm coal with his eyes closed. His attention was on his aperture, where the full primeval sea of an A-grade aptitude appeared in front of him 0.90%. His aptitude had only been just over 40%, and now it had increased by more than double. Although my cultivation has dropped from rank 3 to rank 1, with my years of hard work wasted, it is still all worth it. Fang Yuan was satisfied. In a Gu master's cultivation journey, there were three most important things. Aptitude, resources, and goo worms. None of these three aspects could be lacking. Previously, Fang Yuan only had C grade aptitude and had to resort to all kinds of means of resources and goo worms to try to make up for the deficiency in his aptitude. Those years spent in Qin Mao Mountain had been quite difficult and exhausting. His cultivation speed had been pretty good but that was the result of him exhausting all the means available to him and taking high risks. If his aptitude had been a grade at that time, he would have faced a completely different scene and be able to easily reach rank 3. Such a twist of fate. I now have an A grade aptitude, but don't have the safe environment to grow up like in the village. Additionally, the resources and the goo worms I have now can't compare to before. Fang Yuan was now wandering outside his home ground, and with his weak cultivation he could face mortal dangers at any moment, this situation naturally couldn't compare with the safe and stable environment back at Qin Mao Mountain. And of course, there would be no stable trading areas to exchange for mutual benefits. Fortunately, with the Heavenly Essence Treasure Lotus, the greatest problem that is resources is resolved, so at least there will be no worries before I reach rank 3. Fang Yuan looked through his 90% green copper primeval sea, where a blue and white lotus had taken roots in the depths of his aperture, its petals were healthy and plump, giving off a holy and immortal aura. This heavenly essence treasure lotus was a rank 3 and had an enormous potential for development. Just to refine it, Yu Clan's foundation spirit spring had to be wasted. It was equivalent to a miniature portable spirit spring, and back when Fang Yuan still had rank 3 cultivation, it continuously recovered Fang Yuan's primeval essence, giving him the recovery speed of AB grade aptitude. Rank 3 cultivation possessed white silver primeval essence. Fang Yuan was now only a rank 1 initial stage with green copper primeval essence, with the heavenly essence treasure lotus in his aperture, his primeval essence recovery speed was raised to an extreme rate. If I only use rank 1 goo, my primeval essence recovery speed would be shocking and almost inexhaustible. Using 1 or 2 rank 2 goo worms might cause the primeval C to decrease, but the recovery speed would continuously balance it, causing it to be relatively stable. Using a rank 3 goo will exhaust the primeval essence very rapidly, and the consumption would far surpass the recovery speed. My primeval C would be thoroughly dry within few moments. Fang Yuan calculated in his mind. After all, he now only possessed green copper primeval essence and that too was the initial stage jade green primeval essence, the quality was far too low. Other than heavenly essence treasure lotus, Fang Yuan still had other goo. First of all was his vital goo, spring autumn cicada. This rank 6 goo was numbered 7 in the list of mysterious goo. Once it turned into one's vital goo, it could no longer be taken out of the aperture and was now residing in the middle of the aperture. After going through another rebirth, its aura was no longer the same, 
its bright yellow-green light was completely gone and now looked dispirited and extremely weak. It was concealing its figure, and as time flowed, it silently absorbed time from the river of time and began another round of convalescence. Fang Yuan comprehended inwardly, I absolutely can't use spring-autumn cicada within a short period of time. In such a dangerous state, if I used it, it would be absorbed by the river of time and I would just be throwing away my life by self-detonating. Without the pressure from spring-autumn cicada, other goo worms could freely let out their instincts. For kinds of light flashed around the rank 2-4 flavors liquor worms chubby body as it swam around the surface of the primeval sea, enjoying the moment. The carp fossil-like hidden scales goo calmly laid on the bottom of the sea, letting the primeval sea water cleanse its scales. A black beetle with a pair of iron pincers on its head was soaring in the air above the sea, it was the plunder goo. And similarly, spiraling with it and having a fun time was the white-armored yang goo of the yin yang rotation goo. Rank 4 blood skull goo was lying deep in the sea, bright red blood light occasionally flashing on its surface. As for the other goo worms, blood moon goo had turned into a red crescent imprint on Fang Yuan's palm, birth communication ear grass goo had turned into one of Fang Yuan's ears and wouldn't normally show up the Tusita flower resided on Fang Yuan's tongue as a tattoo. Sky canopy goo and chainsaw golden centipede were lent to by Ning Bing. Calculating the numbers, Fang Yuan possessed a total of 12 goo worms. This was a truly big number. Generally speaking, it was normal for a low-level goo master to have two or three goo. When one reached rank four or five, they would raise this number to four or five. Even divine investigator Tai Shueling only raised about seven Gu. Do not be fooled by Gu Yu First Head or Lord Sky Crane, both were special cases and were old monsters with centuries of accumulation. The amount of Gu worms possessed by Fang Yuan was three to four times more than normal Gu masters. More numbers meant huge economical burden on the Gu masters along with the pressure of managing and raising them. Fang Yuan may have chosen his goo carefully with most of them being easy to raise, but with the limited goods and resources in the Tusita flower now, Fang Yuan was under a huge burden. Facing the brunt of this burden was the four flavors liquor worm as its food was fine liquors, there was a lot of wine stored in the Tusita flower, but it would only be able to support the four flavors liquor worm for half a year. I need to find new source of liquors within these six months, or I have no choice but to reverse refine the four flavors liquor worm back to liquor worm. Next was the plunder goo. Plunder goo's food was difficult to find and the amount of the food stored for it in the Tusita flower could only last for five months. Then, it was the earth communication ear grass. Earth communication ear grass's food was ginseng roots, but thankfully there were a lot of it in the Tusita flower, enough to support it for a year. As for the blood skull goo and blood moon goo, both required blood which needed to be thought out properly. And for the yin yang rotation goo, if they were intact and formed a complete taiji light sphere, they would be self-sufficient in feeding on the transformation of the yin and yang qi. However, only yang goo was left now, Fang Yuan would need to take out some time to release it and let it absorb the yang qi in the air. Raising this yang gu was very important. Only with the yang gu could Fang Yuan suppress by Ning Bing, gaining a cheap bodyguard and a guarantee for survival. This signified that Fang Yuan couldn't casually enter mountain and underground caves. If by any chance were he to be trapped in a special situation where yang qi wasn't available, the yang gu would die from starvation, and at that time, by Ning Bing, in all his fury and despair, would become the greatest enemy to Fang Yuan. All in all, Fang Yuan was in an awkward situation now. He had a lot of high-ranked Gu in his possession, rank 3, rank 4, and even a rank 6 Gu. But the unfortunate thing was that he only had rank 1 cultivation at the moment. To him now, using the high-ranked Gu was quite troublesome and inconvenient. 
the more crucial point was that he seriously lacked goo with healing and movement abilities. Now what I need to do is gather some wild goo worms and resolve these issues. If only I get lucky and come across a suitable goo. Being able to escape from the shuttle swordfish groups could be considered my good luck. But there is no way I could be so lucky every time. After Fang Yuan sorted out his thoughts, he slowly opened his eyes with a grave expression. When he had just opened his eyes, he saw Bai Ning Bing walking over with a white eggshell on his hand. Look at this. I was just trying out the chainsaw golden centipede and drilled the ground, but to think there is an egg hidden under this beach. Too bad it was smashed by chainsaw golden centipede, Bai Ning Bing said. This egg was the size of half of a wash basin, and the white eggshell was thoroughly smashed and only some yolk remained in it. Fang Yuan only took a glance at this eggshell before his expression turned tense, this is bad, this is the egg of a six-foot crocodile. Is this beach a breeding ground for the six-footed crocodiles? He quickly stood up, quick, use the chainsaw golden centipede and check if there are more of such eggs in this beach. Bai Ning Bing's gaze shook and pointed behind Fang Yuan, it's too late, look. Fang Yuan turned around and saw hundreds of dead logs floating towards the beach from the river. The dead logs came ashore and revealed their true forms, they were all enormous crocodiles. These crocodiles had thick carapaces, sharp teeth and three pairs of feet. Right now, their bloodshot eyes were tightly staring at Bai Ning Bing. Six-Legged Crocodile Groups Bai Ning Bing subconsciously loosened her hand under the glares of the crocodiles, the white eggshell fell onto the sand, smashing further in the process and what little yolk left in it seeped into the sand. Hiss The six-legged crocodiles hissed in rage before charging forward on their six legs towards the two youths. At the same time, in Qing Mao Mountain, in the former site of Guyu village. Snow covered everything and glaciers had formed everywhere. A group of people were standing on the snow like iron nails nailed into this white world. Father. Tai Ruanan kneeled down on the snow and shouted out her father's name with tears flowing down her face. Five to six days ago, Tai Xueleng had an intense battle with the Guyu first head but when he was at death's door, he kept his daughter's safety in mind and sent out the mountain giant puppet Gu and iron fist grappling Gu. The mountain giant puppet Gu formed into a copper mask and covered Tai Ruanan's face, protecting her, the iron fist grappling Gu turned into a giant hand, taking her away from the mess at Qing Mao Mountain. However, these two had already been infected by the blood frenzy goo and had turned into a pool of blood not long after completing their tasks. Tai Ruanan rushed back to Qing Mao Mountain in a crazed state, but on the way, she was besieged by a group of beasts. In the moment of her great danger, Tai family's reinforcements had arrived. They had come because of Tai Xueleng, Tai Xueleng always executed matters earnestly. Just to be safe, he had sent a letter for reinforcements to their clan. Tai Ruanan was able to rush here with the help of the reinforcements. However, the scene that appeared before her was a mountain filled with ice and snow where all the living beings were frozen, and there were no traces of her father. She and the Tai family reinforcements searched for several days and nights, before finally accepting the cruel reality. Divine investigator had fallen, her father had died. Father. Tai Ruanan cried out with a hoarse voice filled with extreme sorrow like the wail of the wild goose. Chapter 203 Each with their own objectives. Divine investigator died in battle, this is the glory of a man of the Tai family. 
Lady Ruanan, my condolences, a young Gu master behind her consoled. On the snowy grounds, Tai Ruanan kneeled as her crying voice became weaker, her shoulders shivering and her fists tightly clenched as the snow melted in her hands into water. The young Gu master frowned, continuing, throughout the past few days, we have scoured the entire battlefield. We saw some traces left behind, and it seems there were a few that managed to escape this battlefield. Divine Investigator's letter talked about the Blood Sea Inheritance. I'm worried that the demonic Gu Master who inherited the Blood Sea Inheritance might be among these survivors. When Tai Rua Nan heard this, she stopped crying. She stood up from the icy ground as the freezing winds blew, her hagged face showing determination. The feud of killing my father is greater than anything. Whoever the killer is, I will definitely find out the truth. The young girl's voice was hoarse, but when she spoke, her gaze and tone became very determined. The young Gu master sighed, investigations definitely have to be done. Our Thai family people cannot die with injustice. But Lady Rua Nan, you don't have to go. Before coming here, the clan leader already informed us to bring you back to the village safely. Tai Rua Nan stared with wide-opened eyes, what, don't think of chasing me away. The young Gu master smiled, looking at the sky. In the azure sky, there were several clouds floating. Tai Rua Nan was about to argue some more, but suddenly her iris shrunk, you. Before she finished, her eyes closed and she laid on the snow softly, falling asleep. Guei. The young Gu master called. Here. I order your group to escort Lady Roa Nan back safely. Yes. Guei hesitated. Then what about you, young master? Me. I have to follow the Yellow Dragon River and chase after them, the young Gu master laughed arrogantly. The waters from the Yellow Dragon River raged on and winds blew as several hundred six-legged crocodiles ascended the beach, attacking Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing. Damn! Bai Ning Bing gritted her teeth, feeling a strong pressure in her heart. If it was before, this crocodile group was nothing to her. One ice blade storm and they would be finished. But now, she only had the sky canopy goo and chainsaw golden centipede, while also lacking the northern dark ice soul physique. Her blue irises quickly swept the environment as Bai Ning Bing scolded, what a great place you chose. With three sides as cliffs, how can we escape? Why so frantic? It's only a hundred beast group, not a thousand one, otherwise we would be dead meat. A hundred beast group means we still have a chance of survival, we can kill them all. Fang Yuan quickly kept his clothes, racks, metal pots and retreated behind Bai Ning Bing. Fang Yuan was extremely confident, causing Bai Ning Bing's heart to feel slightly at ease. What are you staring at? Go kill them. Fang Yuan swept his gaze at her, urging, why else did I lend you goo worms? Don't forget I have the young goo. Bastard. Bai Ning Bing stared in rage, her heart burning as she cursed. No one knew if she was scolding the six-legged crocodiles, Fang Yuan, or both. But no matter what, she held the chainsaw golden centipede and rushed up. Buzz buzz buzz. Razors rotated violently as the aggressiveness of a rank three goo worm appeared, causing the six-legged crocodile to halt in their steps. A group of ugly maggots. Bai Ning Bing chuckled, rushing up and slashing. A six-legged crocodile was hit on its stomach, crying out as sparks flew, cut into two by the razors. Fresh blood spewed on Bai Ning Bing's face and clothes, as she felt the stimulation of blood, an intention of battle appeared on her face. Swish swish swish. Chainsaw Golden Centipede hacked and slashed, like a tornado passing through. Twenty or so six-legged crocodiles died in succession. The situation became better instantly, but Fang Yuan's expression grew dim, shouting loudly, avoid the six-legged crocodiles back, and attack their stomach. 
Ha ha ha, what an aggressive goo worm, much better than the ice blade goo. I like it. Bai Ningbing ignored him and laughed loudly. Even though she turned into a woman and was a jade beauty like an ice fairy, the moment she battled her male instincts would cause her to turn into a battle maniac. But eventually, her attack started to become slower and weaker. What's happening? Earlier, I could slash a six-legged crocodile in half, but now even after three hits, I can only severely injure it. Bai Ningbing raised the chainsaw golden centipede and looked, only to see that the razors were dented, and the sharpness was greatly reduced. She was born smart, immediately thinking of Fang Yuan's advice, clicking her tongue. A large six-legged crocodile rushed up to her and leapt. It opened its large, bloody mouth, covering Bai Ningbing with its shadow. You are looking for death. Bai Ningbing moved her tiny body, raising the chainsaw golden centipede and slashing at the six-legged crocodile's belly. Pew! After a light noise, the six-legged crocodile's belly was cut open, forming a severe injury. This unlucky six-legged crocodile was still in the air as a large amount of blood poured out from its wound, and its intestines fell out. With a plop, it landed on the beach, dyeing the sand red. Its body twitched a few times before it stopped moving completely. It was completely dead. So easy. Seeing such effectiveness, Bai Ningbing raised her eyebrows in shock. Six-legged crocodile's back was tough as armor, but comparatively its belly was very soft. The white belly was their weakness. With 500 years of experience Fang Yuan was clear of such information. But Bai Ningbing was born on Qing Mao Mountain, never being outside and only had narrow education, thus she did not know much. Howl! The crocodiles cried out. After tens of crocodiles were killed, the wild beasts were infuriated and started to turn wild under the threat of death. Countless red eyes stared at Bai Ningbing in hatred. Wild beasts had limited intelligence. The lightning lichen had human intelligence but it was an exception among the many species of wild beasts. These wild beasts would always treat the most dangerous enemies as the biggest threat, and the first to eliminate. As for Fang Yuan who stayed at the back, they ignored him. Come. Bai Ningbing moved forward instead. She was not someone stubborn, and after that hit, she immediately changed her tactics. The centipede tail stabbed onto the beach as its body shrunk, then expanded and slashed at the field with the razors. Six-legged crocodile's stomach were easily slashed, as blood and intestines spewed. Crocodiles after crocodiles fell as Bai Ningbing killed as she wished. At the rate this is going, the crocodile group will be nothing to be afraid of. What truly threatens me is not these beast groups, but Fang Yuan. As the situation turned better, Bai Ningbing considered in her heart, having second thoughts. The Yang Gu was in Fang Yuan's hands, causing Bai Ningbing to be restrained and she had to obey Fang Yuan. But he was the Bai clan genius, thus there was great arrogance in his heart, how could he resign himself to this? If I slaughter Fang Yuan, will I be able to get that Yang Gu? Bai Ningbing's eyes shone with coldness as a thought appeared in her mind. But once this thought emerged, it was rejected. She understand Fang Yuan like she understood herself. With Fang Yuan's personality, which was tough as steel along with his ruthless methods and meticulous thoughts, if he really was going to die, he would destroy the Yang Gu 100% of the time, there were no other possibilities. Moreover, I do not have a Gu worm at all. Sky Canopy Gu, Chainsaw Golden Centipede, they are all his, no, no matter what, I have to get my own Gu worms. Fang Yuan's lips curled, staring at the battlefield. Bai Ningbing's movements became slower while her eyes turned more shiny, and he saw all of it. Towards her little thoughts, Fang Yuan was crystal clear. He did not find it strange, he understood Bai Ningbing's predicament, 
he would have had the same thoughts if he was in that situation. They were both arrogant fellows, how could they submit to others and be another's puppet? But, situations surpass men, so what if it's a genius? He he he. Fong Yuan laughed coldly in his heart. Fong Yuan was confident, with such a strong bargaining chip in his hand, by Ning Bing was like a butterfly trapped in a net. It was natural to struggle at first, but eventually she would land in his palms, understanding the situation and becoming tamed, turning into a useful pawn piece. The battle continued. Large numbers of six-legged crocodiles laid on this beach. Bai Ningbing breathed roughly, sweating profusely as her attack slowed down. Out of stamina. Strength was always her weakness. When fighting Fang Yuan back then, many times did she have the disadvantage due to the strength of two boars. Now that she fought for an hour, her stamina was running out. After all, they did not sleep for almost five days when floating on the bamboo raft, and even after the rest, it was too short to recover. What caused her to be even more frustrated were those two lumps on her chest. Every time she moved, these two burdens moved along, causing her to feel very uncomfortable. Fang Yuan, are you not helping? She breathed roughly, calling. Saying so, she dodged the attack of a six-legged crocodile narrowly, pressing on her weak knees and standing up. Fang Yuan said coldly, Once I help, I will attract the attack of many six-legged crocodiles, you want me to die. If I die, you will never get the Yang Gu. Three six-legged crocodiles approached and Bai Ning Bing had no choice but to retreat. She was tired to the point of fainting as her stamina reached its limits, and she saw a darkness in front of her. The chainsaw golden centipede appeared even more heavy, constantly dragging her towards the ground. She gritted her teeth, Fang Yuan, if I die, can you live? Rest assured, I am behind you. Fang Yuan rested his back on the cliff, as he willed and a blood moon goo flew out of his palm, flying towards by Ming Bing. Take it, and use it well. Blood Moon Gu originated from Moonlight Gu, so Bai Ning Bing was very familiar with it. With just a few uses, she got used to it and the bright red moon blades stabilized the situation. But good situations did not last, and although Bai Ning Bing regained her footing, her primeval essence was starting to become insufficient. Chapter 204 Carapace Gu and Crocodile Strength Gu Ordinary rank 3 Gu masters, to deal with beast groups, they have to employ kiting tactics. Using primeval stones to recover their primeval essence, by Ning Bing's method of facing them head on and lasting until now, was already outstanding. If a Gu master's primeval essence runs dry, their battle strength will drop down to rock bottom. By Ning Bing started to look back at the cliff behind her, wondering if there was a way to escape. When she saw Fang Yuan's casual expression while he was leaning against the cliff, she flew into a rage, scolding, Fang Yuan, I fight at the front lines, yet you watch the show behind me? Fang Yuan snorted, the former Northern Dark Ice Soul Physique, the Grand Bai Ning Bing, can't even deal with a hundred beast group. Bai Ning Bing was exasperated, if you have the guts, then you go and fight. Fang Yuan laughed coldly, if I had rank 3 cultivation, it is enough to eliminate all these six-legged crocodiles, why would I need you? Bai Ning Bing breathed loudly, smoke coming out of her pores. Fang Yuan said seriously, Bai Ning Bing, I can tell you're used to fighting without restraint. You are a former Northern Dark Ice Soul Physique, but now that you are a grade with 90%, if you still keep fighting like that your primeval essence will definitely be insufficient. An outstanding Gu master will use their primeval essence in the most efficient way, never wasting a drop. From now on, battle according to my instructions. Your fighting method is too crude, you have to be more meticulous now. Ha! Huh. By Ning Bing's lips twitched, my battle method isn't meticulous enough. Do you know how many times the clan leader and elders praised me, for being the number one skillful fighter in Bai clan? 
What's there to compare with a bunch of scrubs? Listen closely. Bai Ningbing laughed coldly three times, but Fang Yuan continued talking. His voice entered Bai Ningbing's ears, at first she was indifferent, but eventually, her expression changed. It went from disdain to seriousness, and finally, turning grave. Fang Yuan's words hit the nail right on the head. There was profound meaning in every word, perfectly describing her inability. This was the collection of his five hundred years of life, the essence left behind through the accumulation of time. How could it not let this youngster, naive and innocent, be extremely shocked? Fang Yuan lived for five hundred years, so he was as sly as a fox. His experience was something not even First Gen Gu Yu or Sky Crane Lord could match with. These two old geezers lived for almost a thousand years, but most of their life was spent in deep sleep, retaining that last breath of theirs. Their true, living, phase, was merely two to three hundred years at most. If it was any other time, Bai Ningbing upon hearing Fang Yuan's advice, would merely take it as a joke. She was a proud arrogant genius, even if she was shocked, she would not follow suit. But now, facing the crocodile's pressure, her body could not help but execute what he said, and it showed an immediately effect. Six-legged crocodiles continued to die, but her situation improved by leaps and bounds. Her primeval essence and stamina were depleted, but once she started using them carefully and reduced her meaningless attacks while increasing her attack effectiveness, it caused her primeval essence and stamina to slowly recover amidst battle. Fifteen minutes later, after at least half the pack of six-legged crocodiles were injured and over two hundred corpses on the ground, they finally stopped attacking and started to retreat. Soon after, a large body appeared from under the water. It had two rows of sharp blade-like teeth. Its yellow vertical pupils reflected by Ning Bing's body as it emitted a cold killing intent. This was the six-legged crocodile king. Hundred beast king level. Grand Crocodile King Different from other six-legged crocodiles, this Crocodile King was larger like a yak, and it did not stand on six legs, but only moved with its two hind legs. It walked like humans, with a back as thick as a bear, and a scaly tail dragging a line across the beach, the other four feet that were free, were in a claw shape. Resembling four arms, they were thick and the muscles were tough as rocks. Bai Ningbing could not help but laugh bitterly. If she was fighting this hundred beast king alone, she could win. But now that she had undergone an intense battle and there was little primeval essence and stamina left in her, she could not deal with this hundred beast king who was in perfect condition. But at this time, Fang Yuan's voice came from behind her, catch. A blue and white light entered her aperture, turning into a lotus and rooting deep into her aperture sea. Immediately, her primeval sea level started rising. Bai Ningbing was surprised and overjoyed, what goo is this? Heavenly Essence Treasure Lotus. Fang Yuan said. So this is the Heavenly Essence Treasure Lotus. No wonder first Gen Guyu wanted it. Bai Ningbing sighed again, then scolded, you have such a goo, why didn't you lend it to me earlier? Fang Yuan chuckled talking while minding his own business, thankfully this is only a hundred beast king. Remember, its weakness is that white skin near the chest. Saying so, his body faded like ripples on the water surface, and he slowly vanished. He activated the stealth scale goo. Scheming and cunning. Bai Ningbing scolded, before focusing her gaze on the grand crocodile king. Only to see that on its chest, there was indeed a white skin, but it was only face-sized, and was protected by its four limbs. How could she strike that area easily? Howl! The Grand Crocodile King growled, before rushing at Bai Ningbing. Bai Ningbing could only rely on herself and roll around desperately, evading the hits and flicking her wrist at the same time. Chainsaw Golden Centipede smashed on the Grand Crocodile King's back. 
sparks flew as the chainsaw golden centipede was rebounded, almost causing Bai Ningbing to trip from the impact. There was a white scratch on the Grand Crocodile King's back armor, but other than that it was unfazed. Howl! It swung its tail, and winds flew. Bai Ningbing only saw a black whip approaching, thick, large and long. She could not evade it, so she was only able to activate the sky canopy goo. With a bang, she was sent flying, landing tens of meters away. Afterwards, she slammed on the tough sturdy cliff walls. Bai Ningbing was in so much pain until she drew a deep breath. Sky Canopy Goo is a rank 3 goo, having great defense but it could not reduce the force from impacts. Bam bam bam. The Grand Crocodile King's thick strong legs left a strong imprint on the beach as it charged towards Bai Ningbing. Bai Ningbing's eyes shone, seeing the Grand Crocodile King's attack, she did not move. The Grand Crocodile King came crashing with its imposing aura, flashing its claws. If it was any other person, they would be scared shitless or run away in fear, but Bai Ningbing was after all Bai Ningbing, possessing an iron will. 20 steps, 15 steps, 10 steps, 5 steps. Seeing the Grand Crocodile King was near, at the final moment, Bai Ningbing leapt. Bam! She narrowly evaded the Grand Crocodile King, and the latter crashed into the cliff walls, as large amount of debris fell and buried it. A beast is a beast after all. Bai Ningbing laughed loudly, about to chase after it, but suddenly thought of something and stopped. The next moment, the Grand Crocodile King's tail swept and sent the debris flying all over the place. Bai Ningbing observed silently, and a moment later the Crocodile King finally got free. It was in a desperate state. Half its teeth were broken and blood flowed out of its nostrils, its golden pupils also turned red. It growled furiously at the sky and lowered its body, rushing towards Bai Ningbing at an even faster speed. Bai Ningbing retreated, smiling as she dodged. Bam! With a huge bang, the cliff walls collapsed, and smoke flew everywhere. An hour later, the injured Grand Crocodile King covered its white skin in futile, as blood continued to ooze out of its wounds. Soon after, it plopped on the ground, on the beach that was completely wrecked by the battle. This blood moon goo is pretty useful huh? With that bleeding effect, I can kill that Grand Crocodile King so easily. Bai Ningbing looked at the Red Moon insignia, thinking in her mind. After the Crocodile King died, the remaining hundred six-legged crocodiles lost their drive and morale, escaping into the river one by one. Finally over. Bai Ningbing shook the chainsaw golden centipede on her hand away, sitting on the beach in exhaustion. Fang Yuan's figure came out of the shade, squatting at the Crocodile King's corpse and searching. Found it. When he took back his hand, there was one goo in each of his palms. Bai Ningbing seeing this, breathed heavily in anger. She fought so intensely with the Crocodile King, finally killing it and chasing the Crocodile group away. But the unscathed Fang Yuan came out to collect the battle rewards instead. Fang Yuan took a close look. These two goo, one was almost dying, but still struggling. It had a turtle shell, around palm size, but its protruding surface was covered in crocodile scales. The carapace goo. Another was uninjured, but was not moving at all, letting Fang Yuan squish it with his fingers. The crocodile strength goo. It was very small, smaller than a finger. It was like a mini crocodile, with head, body and tail, but did not have any legs. Both the carapace goo and the crocodile strength goo were rank 2 goo worms. Normally, hundred beast kings have rank 2 goo living in them. In the thousand beast king, there was rank 3, and in the myriad beast king there was rank 4. As I expected. Fang Yuan seeing the two goo, did not feel strange. He was experienced and after observing the battle, 
he had seen through the Crocodile King's abilities. Immediately, he leaked a little of the spring autumn cicada's aura, and refined these two goo with his primeval essence instantly. The carapace goo flew to Fang Yuan's back, forming a large scale insignia, like a tattoo. It extended from Fang Yuan's shoulder to his waist, covering his entire back. As with the name, it was a goo that could enhance the defense of a goo master's back. Crocodile strength goo turned into a dim yellow light, entering Fang Yuan's aperture. It was similar to the black and white boar goo, able to increase the goo master's strength permanently, by the strength of a crocodile. It had high market value, normally a precious goo worm without any available in the market. This again, instantly refining a goo worm. Seeing this, Bai Ning Bing could not continue but be furious, as her pupils dilated to pin size. When she fought Fang Yuan earlier, she found this secret. Back at the clan, she searched the records and checked up on some assistance type goo that can achieve this effect. But at this moment, as she witnessed the scene again, she felt that the truth might be different. This guy has so many trump cards. Sky Canopy Goo, Blood Moon Goo and Chainsaw Golden Centipede aside, but even the Heavenly Essence Treasure Lotus. His battle tactics are also completely superior to the clan's teachings. Also, what goo did he use earlier? Thinking of this, a cold chill went down by Ning Bing's spine. Chapter 205, Sleeping in the Treetop Roar The sky was getting darker as though the river surged and ebbed. At dusk, the beach was colored red with crocodile blood, and hundreds of six-legged crocodile corpses were lying all around two youths. From beside one particular gigantic crocodile corpse, Fang Yuan slowly stood up. He did not have any thoughts of fleeing when the six-legged crocodile groups had attacked. Although he only had rank 1 initial stage cultivation, he had Bai Ning Bing who was a rank 3 peak stage Gu master. Her cultivation base added with his rank 3 Gu worms, were more than enough to annihilate a hundred beast group. On one hand, he was in need of an external force like the six-legged crocodile groups to oppress Bai Ning Bing and also take the chance to train her. On another hand, he also needed to find suitable goo worms for himself. I might only be at rank 1 initial stage, but with my great aptitude and heavenly essence treasure lotus, my primeval essence recovery speed is fast enough to let me use rank 2 goo worms. But what a pity that both the crocodile strength goo and carapace goo aren't really ideal for me, Fang Yuan sighed as he pondered in his mind. Sky Canopy Goo was a rank 3 defensive goo which he lent to Bai Ning Bing. Now, he needed a suitable defensive goo for himself. However, the carapace goo's defensive area was too small in that it could only defend his back. And even though Crocodile Strength Goo was a precious goo, Fang Yuan already had the strength of two boars, strengthening further would instead harm him. Below rank 6, Goo Masters only possessed a mortal body which had a limit in how much it could endure and couldn't be strengthened continuously. Fang Yuan already used the black and white boar goo to remodel his body and increase his fundamental strength. Using the crocodile strength goo would surpass what his body could endure and would only harm him. That is to say, unless he found other goo worms which could supplement for the crocodile strength goo, he would be committing a suicidal act by using it. In the inheritance inside by Goo Mountain, there is a jade bone goo which can increase the strength of the Goo Master's bones. After using this goo, there would be no problem in using the crocodile strength goo. However, there is still quite a distance from by Goo Mountain and it will take at least 10-15 days. Fang Yuan gazed at southeast direction, then he willed and summoned the crocodile strength goo. He gave the crocodile strength goo to Bai Ning Bing, and at the same time, called back the Heavenly Essence Treasure Lotus. Use this crocodile strength goo, it will let you gain the strength of a crocodile. The process will be a bit tough, but it should be done after you repeatedly activate it for a month, Fang Yuan instructed. Bai Ning Bing nodded, she was inwardly happy. 
with the crocodile strength goo, she could make up for her weak strength. She had looked for such a goo back when she was in by clan, but she had no luck in finding such goo. To think that she unexpectedly found the goo which she had always wanted out in the wild. Dangers lurked everywhere when goo masters journeyed outside, but at the same time, there were plenty of opportunities. Let's go, the blood odor here is too concentrated and will definitely attract the wild beasts, the cliff is also almost collapsed, it will be dangerous to camp here. By Ning Bing approved of Fang Yuan's proposal. But before leaving, Fang Yuan gathered as much of the crocodile blood and flesh as he could and stored them in the Tusita flower. Crocodile strength goose food was crocodile flesh. And the fresh crocodile blood could be used to feed the blood skull goo and blood moon goo. The sun had already completely disappeared into the horizon and the night fell. Numerous stars could be vaguely seen in the sky. The cliff had collapsed by the Grand Crocodile King's attack, becoming easier to climb. After Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing climbed the cliff, a dense jungle welcomed them. The jungle seemed to continue on and on, touching the shadows of the faraway mountains. Furthermore, the depths of the jungle were covered in deep darkness, concealing unknown dangers and beasts. Chichihuhau A series of odd noises sounding like the cries of birds or the howling of the apes, resounded in the two youths' ears. The two glanced at each other, realizing that the dangers lurked everywhere in the jungle. More so during the night time, where there were scarce light, the jungle became more dangerous than during daytime. They had no other choices, however. Let's go, Fang Yuan hinted at Bai Ning Bing. Bai Ning Bing grinded her teeth, but she had no choice other than to drag her extremely tired body and walk in front, opening a path for Fang Yuan. The trees in this jungle were at least four meters tall. And being close to the river, the air was filled with moisture and the soil was much softer than normal soil. Under this warm and moist atmosphere, moss grew wildly, spreading over the ground, rocks and tree trunks. The darkness deepened and the chillness increased as the deeper they went into the jungle. Fang Yuan was still in a better condition, by Ning Bing, however, shivered from cold. She had just engaged in an intense battle, and her whole body was soaked with sweat. Right now as the chill invaded her body, she naturally felt much more cold. Hey, how about making a fire and warming ourselves first? Bai Ning Bing spoke while scouting in front. Her voice echoed within the jungle, making the quietness of the jungle even more prominent. Warm ourselves. Ha ha. Fang Yuan laughed. Don't you feel that this jungle is too quiet? Let's stop and check the trees in front. Bai Ning Bing slowed down her steps and concentrated. The trees in front of them were short and thick, with twisted roots that spread over on the ground. The ends of the branches all grew out into vines like green pythons, either coiling around each other or dropping down into the ground. The tip of the vines were like Venus flytrap or like mussels with open shells, quietly waiting for the prey. Beast Trap Tree Bai Ning Bing thought of what he had learned in the academy and recognized this tree. This tree was carnivorous, and the ends of its branches had softened down to become vines with only two leaves on the ends. The leaves were wide and big, and would normally remain open like a giant open mouth. However, once a prey walks close, the vines would shoot like a snake and the leaves would snap shut, swallowing the prey. Afterward, the tree would secrete acidic liquid and melt down the prey over the course of tens of days or even months, before absorbing it. Bai Ning Bing counted the amount of beast trap trees in front of him, there were at least thirty to forty. There were some distance between each trees, upon which grew ordinary trees. This is the area of beast trap trees, no wonder it was so quiet with no signs of any living creatures. But it isn't a problem, I can forcefully open up a path with a rank 3 goo, Bai Ning Bing said. Fang Yuan, however, shook his head, we need a safe campsite right now, and from how I see it, 
this area of beast trap trees looks pretty good. We might not necessarily find a safer place to spend the night in this dense jungle if we charge through this area. Bai Ningbing couldn't help opening up her eyes wide when she heard what was said, in this place. These beast trap trees are safer. Fang Yuan glanced at her, but didn't explain, instead he turned around and walked back through the way they had come. Bai Ningbing grinded her teeth, Yang Gu was with Fang Yuan, so she had no choice but to follow Fang Yuan back to the beach. Fang Yuan chose two sturdy crocodile corpses and opened up their cut bellies, he removed the internal organs and cleaned it thoroughly before dragging the corpses back to the jungle. You are actually thinking of? Bai Ningbing was smart and as she saw this, she already could vaguely guess Fang Yuan's motive. She couldn't help but be amazed by Fang Yuan's creativity. Humans are above all creatures, having unbound wisdom, thinking up odd ways to survive is normal. We will sleep inside these today, Fang Yuan said, and after explaining what to do, he entered inside a crocodile belly. The next moment, he rolled inside and got closer to a beast trap tree in the six-legged crocodile's body. Swish. The nearest vine pounced, as swift as the wind. The huge open two leaves swallowed the whole crocodile corpse in one bite and then firmly closed together. Following next, the vines twisted and gently supported the heavy leaves to the treetop. Go to sleep, we still need to continue on our journey tomorrow. The leaves on the treetop shook for a moment before Fang Yuan's voice traveled out. Bai Ningbing was dumbstruck on the spot, watching this scene with open mouth. She came to her senses only after a long while. The darkness completely enveloped the land, and the night wind gently blew and passed through the jungle, producing sounds like that of a sob. Bai Ningbing clenched her teeth, and just like how Fang Yuan demonstrated, she drilled into the crocodile belly and rolled towards a beast trap tree. Almost immediately, she felt the attack of an external force, causing the whole crocodile body to shake for a while. After the shaking, she sensed herself slowly rising up. Finally, the force lifting her stopped. Bai Ningbing was lying inside the crocodile's belly, and the crocodile belly was lying flat inside the leaves. She gazed outside and her sight passed through the small crack in the closed leaves, landing upon the many stars in the sky. The surroundings were extremely quiet, and the stars were shining brightly like mischievous kids winking at her. The sky is filled with stars, our luck is good, the weather is going to be good tomorrow. Fang Yuan's voice came from outside. Bai Ningbing didn't reply, she moved her body to get into a more comfortable position. However, she still felt cold due to the ice-cold crocodile body. At this moment, she got a whiff of a fragrant scent. Bai Ningbing wasn't surprised as Fang Yuan had already explained this to her, this was the acidic liquid being released by the beast trap tree. However, this acidic liquid would need at least three months to melt the crocodile body. Hence, hiding inside the crocodile body was very safe for the moment. Oh right, I better use the crocodile strength goo first and then sleep. Bai Ningbing thought inwardly but her eyelid seemed to be as heavy as a mountain, gradually shutting close. The next moment, she was in a deep sleep. She was too tired, first it was continuously drifting for five days and five nights, then it was the intense battle with the crocodile groups. And in the battle, she had surpassed her physical limits and unearthed a part of her potential. Maybe it was because she had turned into a female, the pressure from Fang Yuan intentionally or otherwise, it made her exhausted in both body and mind. Fang Yuan, however, wasn't asleep. From within the crocodile body, he called out the Tusita flower and took out some cotton clothes and cloak. He then divided these into two parts, one part for a cushion under his body, another part for covering his body. Although he tossed around, this layer of preparation immediately brought him some warmth. Under the cage of the leaves, the crocodile body changed into a pleasant hotbed. 
Fan Yuan still had some energy left, he closed his eyes and fell into meditation, using his primeval essence to nurture his aperture. He might have no liquor worm to upgrade his primeval essence, but with the assistance of Heavenly Essence Treasure Lotus and his a great aptitude, the amount of time he could nurture his aperture increased by a great amount. The primeval sea was turbulent, rising and falling as its waves cleansed the aperture walls. Every time the primeval essence was consumed, it would be immediately replenished. Even continuing to nurture the aperture for a whole night wouldn't be able to exhaust the primeval essence. However, Fang Yuan did not do such a thing, for nurturing the aperture couldn't replace sleep. He stopped cultivating after midnight and went to sleep. He was a light sleeper and was able to hear the vague sounds of the wind and the howling of beasts in his sleep. Many wild beasts were attracted to the odor of the blood in the beach and trudged through the jungle towards it. And when they passed through this area of trees, they were captured by the beast trap trees. Chapter 206 Becoming the Leader The sun hung brightly in the blue skies and white clouds. Sunlight shone on the land as Yellow Dragon River flowed, with a dense forest beside the river, forming an ocean of greenery. On the beast trap tree's crown, vines hung as eight or nine leaves formed a cage, like a gathering of seashells standing tall. Suddenly among one of the cages, there was intense shaking. Pew! A bright red moon blade shot out from there, tearing the leaves apart. A young girl in light-colored clothing, shrouded in a white-colored armor on her body, emerged from the leaf cage. She was agile, her feet landing on some branches on the trees, moving quickly as she jumped down, eventually landing safely on the ground. It was by Ning Bing. Throughout the process, the beast trap tree did not move, as if it was dead. Bai Ning Bing looked at this beast trap tree, thinking of what Fang Yuan had said to her the previous night. Towards any prey that escaped, the beast trap tree will not attack further. Because any prey that can escape, is not something the tree can deal with. Even without intelligence, the instinct of the beast trap tree can allow it to adapt and survive better in the wild. A Chu. Bai Ning Bing could not help but sneeze, as she rubbed her nose, she observed the surrounding and checked out her location. In this beast trap forest, most leaf cages were hanging high up in the tree crown like shiny green seashells. It seems that the blood smell on the beach has attracted many wild beasts. The beast trap tree had a great harvest last night, by Ning Bing thought in her heart as she stretched her limbs, cracking her neck. She had an uncomfortable sleep last night, the crocodile's corpse was hard and tough. Coupled with the cold night, although she was extremely tired, she was woken up by the cold several times. Thus, with huge eye bags, she was in a bad condition mentally. But after cultivating for a while, her stamina had recovered by more than half. At this moment, she was standing in an area with sunlight, using the sunlight to dispel the coldness in her body. By Ning Bing, let me out. A voice was heard, none other than Fang Yuan. He did not need to use the earth hearing communication grass to notice the commotion. Bai Ning Bing glanced at another beast trap tree. On this tree crown, the leaf cage that had captured Fang Yuan was still at the same spot. She laughed inwardly, not replying, instead closing her eyes and resting while bathing in the sunlight, delaying on purpose. Fifteen minutes later, she shot out a blood-colored moonblade, cutting the vines apart. The seashell-like leaves scattered on the ground as they tore and dispersed. Bai Ning Bing slowly walked over, using another blood moon blade, cutting the leaves as Fang Yuan moved his way out of the cage. What's with the delay? I woke up ages ago, and even managed to cultivate for a while. Fang Yuan's face was gleaming, looking extremely refreshed. The clothes and cloak that he took out last night had already been kept. Bai Ning Bing snorted. Fang Yuan's current situation was beyond her expectations. 
She had thought that Fang Yuan would be like her, not being able to sleep while feeling hungry and cold. Thus she delayed his release, trying to torture him. But to think that his condition was at its peak. It's getting late, we have to start moving. Let's eat first. Fang Yuan shot out the Tusita flower, taking out the coal stone, iron rack, iron pot, water bottle and dried biscuits etc. He moved quickly, cooking a pot of meat stew in a short while. Next he searched around, finding a large number of mushrooms under the cover of the beast trap tree. These tree shrooms were long, dry and thin, looking dark purple or black. Bai Ningbing looked at Fang Yuan as he put these into the pan, questioning, wild vegetation cannot be eaten without caution, they might be poisonous. Yup, you're right. Fang Yuan nodded. Then don't eat. Bai Ningbing laughed coldly, if you get poisoned, I do not have a healing goo worm. Fang Yuan indifferently took out a ladle, drinking a huge mouthful of meat soup under Bai Ningbing's close watch. Bai Ningbing snorted. Only until Fang Yuan drank five to six mouthfuls of soup did she assure herself that there was no danger in the soup. After drinking from the ladle, her eyes shone. Compared to yesterday, this stew had a much fresher and sweeter flavor. She directed her gaze towards the tree shrooms in the soup. Evidently, the difference was due to these mushrooms. She could not help but look at Fang Yuan as he sat on a rock, drinking soup with his head lowered as he ate the dry biscuits, full of vigor. Although their sleeping condition was the same, Bai Ningbing compared it to her own pathetic state and felt a trace of admiration towards Fang Yuan in her heart, no matter how much she denied it. Of course, if she knew that Fang Yuan had secretly taken out his cloak and clothes to keep warm, then she would have had a different feeling altogether. Fang Yuan felt her gaze landing on him. But he did not raise his head, only smiling lightly, pretending he did not notice it and continued eating. Ever since Qing Mao Mountain where Bai Ningbing resolutely saved him, Fang Yuan felt that pure demonic nature in her. Demons are crazy, impervious to reason, adamantly walking on their own path. Bai Ningbing's demonic nature gave Fang Yuan some ideas on how to make use of her. But this person, Bai Ningbing, was also complex. On one hand, she was too tender. After getting new life and solving the problem of the Northern Dark Ice Soul Physique, she did not want to give up anymore, enjoying life and not resolving to die. But on the other hand, her demonic nature made her pursue excitement, thus having a completely unrestrained personality. She did not fear death, and if death was exciting enough, she would chase after it. Such a person is like a young dragon, full of curiosity towards the world, carrying an unrestrained nature, and whose wildness was untamable. She had her own path, her own ambitions and aspirations. Bai Ningbing had not fully grown into a demon lord, she was merely a demon child now. But this true demon will never change her path, and her direction cannot be altered, and she definitely will not submit to anyone. True demons are only loyal to themselves, moving in the darkness alone, walking their own paths. True demons will admire other people, but they will never submit. A true demon is the lord of their own, the supreme existence. Fang Yuan understood Bai Ningbing because Fang Yuan understood himself. He knew that Bai Ningbing would never submit to him, but not submitting does not mean she couldn't be subdued. While not able to change her path, it does not mean she cannot be used. If Fang Yuan had rank 3 cultivation, he would not need her. But with only rank 1 initial stage now, Bai Ningbing's value was great. Of course, wanting to subdue her and make use of her, some efforts needed to be put in. Bai Ningbing was smart and arrogant, and could not be forced. Only through some small matters, or external influence to exert pressure on her, can she slowly be tamed. Secretly taking out clothes to keep warm, was not because Fang Yuan is petty. 
Earlier by Ning Bing purposely delayed the time, and Fang Yuan did not pursue it, it is not because he is magnanimous. To subdue by Ning Bing, I need to spend a lot of time. But I'm in no rush, let's take it slow, I need time to recover my cultivation. After the 2-8, it was near noon already. On the ground, there were footprints of wild beasts all over. The two continued moving, as by Ning Bing paved the way towards the southeast direction. The deeper they went, the taller the trees in the forest. Earlier there were only beast trap trees around 3 to 4 meters tall, but gradually, they became 5 to 6 meters tall, and at times there were 7 to 8 meter tall king trees, like a crane among a flock of chicken. Of course there were also dying tree branches that had fallen onto the ground, filled with green moss. Or at some areas, there were budding leaves, or broken wood, split apart by lightning, showing the fury of the heavens. These great beings grew in close proximity in this area, shrouding the heavens. The deeper one went, the colder it got. The strong sunlight was blocked by the lustrous tree leaves, and only a tiny ray could penetrate, creating large shadows in the forest. The wind blew, and the tree leaves made a swish sound, as shadows moved like shattered gold. In the forest, not all was peaceful. At times, there would be deer, foxes, rabbits and other animals moving around. Most were birds, all sorts of birds, either in groups of threes or fives, or a large flock flying in the sky. Others stood on tree branches as they sang out in harmony. Sometimes, there would be the roaring of tigers from far away. The two moved and stopped, relying on the earth hearing communication grass to avoid many dangers. But some areas could not be avoided, thus by Ning Bing's battle strength was needed to force their way through. Rank 3 cultivation is already sufficient to deal with problems in the wild. Night descended again, and Fang Yuan found a safe camping spot, it was a stone hill. Bai Ning Bing was extremely tired, falling asleep immediately even on the rough sharp rocks. On the second day when she woke up, her body ached all over and even her head could not rotate properly, having gotten a stiff neck. Her sneezing also became more frequent, it was obvious she caught a cold. Fang Yuan took all these into consideration as they continued on their journey. They moved extremely slowly, because there was no movement type Gu to travel. Previously, Fang Yuan used the thousandly earth wolf spider and Bai Ning Bing used the white form immortal snake Gu, both were mobile Gu that were rank 5. Unfortunately one died and the other escaped. But Fang Yuan was not in a hurry, his cultivation was weak and he needed time to cultivate. Every time there was a break when they traveled in the day, even during rest he would grab every second to cultivate. At night, he would cultivate into late night. A few days later, Bai Ning Bing got sick, catching a cold. Her head hurt and her battle strength fell rapidly, also getting a fever. Fang Yuan had to stop and use the medicine in the Tusita flower on her, as well as some medical paste to apply on her body. Although they were burning on the skin, they helped to remove the chill in her body. Only after resting for six days did Bai Ning Bing recover. This illness was a huge lesson to her. During the period, she was drowsy and barely had any strength in her body, not even able to apply the paste herself. It was Fang Yuan who helped her. If not for Fang Yuan, I'd be in a critical position this time. After Bai Ning Bing recovered, she sighed inwardly. Not matter how much she did not want to agree with it, it was the truth. In the past, her tone was tough and was very aggressive. But after this matter, she became much quieter, often keeping silent, at times, she could go for half a day without speaking. The less she spoke, the more Fang Yuan led and his authority rose. This way, he slowly became the leader among the two. Chapter 207 Xian Yuan Divine Pheasant Time passed quickly. Half a month later, Bai Ning Bing grew thinner but her body radiated a strong elite aura. 
Her concentration was better, and her blue eyes shone with brilliance as she observed around. Undeniably, she had adjusted to this primal life, and learned much from this experience. Fang Yuan knew, although by Ning Bing was solemn, it does not mean she admitted defeat. Her heart was motivated to learn seriously and try hard to adapt. At times, she would refute some of Fang Yuan's ideas, and although they were still rather shallow, she had gone past her initial naivety. Fang Yuan could feel by Ning Bing improving by the day. But this situation was not unexpected. To subdue by Ning Bing, it was not easy, any true demon would have the spirits to resist greatly. Under the blazing sun, the two hid in the shaded forest as they carefully observed the mountain valley. In the valley, there was a huge crocodile, sleeping peacefully. A lava crocodile. The size of three elephants placed together. Its body was covered in dark red scales, and its four thick strong legs support its humongous body. A crocodile tail glowed in a metallic luster as it reached almost ten meters tall. Most importantly, on its back there are two lumps, like two mini volcanoes. As it breathed, two columns of black smoke rose from the lumps, varying in intensity. This lava crocodile is a thousand beast king. To eliminate it, the risk is too great. Bai Ning Bing stared with wariness. On a thousand beast king, there are rank three wild goo worms. Together with the beast king's strong body physique, even rank three peak stage goo masters would have difficulty finding victory in a 1v1. Great risks greater rewards. It is not easy to find a crocodile in the forest. Crocodile strength goo needs crocodile meat to feed on, we have less than half left now. Let's test out this crocodile strength first. Fang Yuan said. Lava crocodile lived underground in groups. Only the beast king have the strength to get to the surface and breathe in fresh air, enjoying the sun. Bai Ning Bing gritted her teeth, standing up. After getting the crocodile strength goo, she had been using it. Now her strength was greatly increased, but there was still a distance from the strength of one crocodile, the increment was not completely done yet. The lava crocodile was asleep, but when Bai Ning Bing got around fifty steps away from it, it opened its red golden eyes. Plop! It supported its body as it turned its head, two gushes of hot air coming out from its nose. Bai Ning Bing's expression was solemn, activating the canopy goo, but still feeling a strong feeling of heated air gushing at her face. She did not take out the chainsaw golden centipede, but shot out the blood moon blade. The rank 3 moon blade hit the back of the lava crocodile, shaving off some scales and succeeded in angering the lava crocodile king. It aimed accurately at Bai Ning Bing, opening its huge mouth and shooting out a dark red lava fireball. The lava fireball was the size of a stone mill, Bai Ning Bing did not dare to take it head on, and dodged. Bam, lava fireball drew an arc in the sky, landing on the mountain rocks. In an explosion, shards of mountain rocks flew apart as the flames burnt. A small-sized mushroom cloud floated into the sky before dissipating. At the explosion area, a huge crater was created, and inside fresh lava was still flowing as they slowly cooled down. Rank 3 Lava Explosion Goo Fang Yuan, seeing this, concluded in his heart. Few minutes later, Fang Yuan threw down a rope from above the cliff, and pulled by Ning Bing up. Lava Crocodile King growled several times, but did not give chase. Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing's figure vanished as it continued to lay on the ground, enjoying its sunbath once again. This is because Bai Ning Bing's attacks were merely probing. The Lava Crocodile King did not find her a threat, only thinking that she was an intruding wild beast, thus chasing her away. This is a Lava Crocodile King, with three goo worms inside it. One lava explosion goo, one flame stomach goo, and one accumulating ash goo, all three are rank three goo worms. Covering attack, 
defense and healing, all three basic aspects are assured. Leaving the valley, Fang Yuan concluded what he observed. Bai Ningbing frowned deeply. She herself had probed earlier, and knew that to kill this crocodile king, it was extremely difficult and was near impossible. Never mind that lava explosion goo, even though the flame stomach goo's defense cannot be broken by blood moon goo. Only the chainsaw golden centipede can do it when it gets close. But if we really did that to destroy the flame stomach, the centipede would be crippled as well. These days, after using it to kill enemies, the razors were already in bad shape. Plus, even if we break the defenses, there is still the accumulating ash goo that can heal the crocodile king. Its stamina is definitely greater than both of us combined, in a battle of attrition we would definitely lose. Most importantly it can burrow underground and go back to its nest, we cannot stop it from leaving. Bai Ningbing said. Fang Yuan nodded, your analysis is right, but I want to kill it even more now. Since ash goo that eats ashes as food, it is easy to feed. It is also very suitable as our healing goo worm. Humph, although the goo worm is good, we need to live to enjoy it. Although you have the yang goo, don't think of manipulating me, ordering me to risk my life in such a combat, Bai Ning Bing snorted. We cannot fight it head on, but we can use intelligence. Never mind about other wild beasts, but this lava crocodile king, we can use it to attract other beast kings and cause them to fight among themselves, and then reap the rewards from it, Fang Yuan said as he did not wish to give up due to difficulty. Creating a miracle out of the impossible, it was his favorite thing to do. If it was any other wild beast, unless they just migrated and arrived, they would have their respective territories. Among themselves, they would know each other's existence and would not cause any infighting. But the lava crocodile king was different. It normally lived underground, and sometimes came to the surface to breathe fresh air. Like the fish deep in the sea, jumping out of the surface of the water. Their existence was not known by other beast kings, they are like illegal immigrants. Unless it was a beast king like the lightning lichen, most did not have high intelligence. Once a beast king is lured over, they would feel threatened by one another and begin an intense battle. Once they both got injured, Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing would be able to rob the owner when his house is on fire. Fang Yuan's words caused Bai Ning Bing's eyes to shine. She nodded. We do not have a movement type goo, thus this plan is risky. But compared to fighting the lava crocodile king head on, we have greater hopes of success. We can give this a try. Like human society, among wild beasts, they each have their own territories. Stronger beast kings led beast groups and occupied areas with abundant resources. Just like how a human clan would occupy a spirit spring. Among forces, they would have interactions and as long as they ventured into other areas, they would have some findings. The next five days, Bai and Fong used the lava crocodile as the focal point as they searched around. The northwest direction which they came from did not need more scouting, looping around the valley, towards the southeast direction, they found a white ape gang. The leader was an old white ape, a thousand beast king. A white ape's speed was fast, and if it was lured, the two would definitely get caught up and be surrounded. Thus, they had to give up their plans here. At the southwest direction, it was a rotting swamp. The smell was overbearing, this is the world of the poison. The poisonous snake lay below the roots of the tree, as fist-sized poisonous bees flew around in groups, and large spiders' webs had black spiders around the size of a face. From the center of the swamp, there was frogs screeching. Fang Yuan deduced that it was a healing goo that was the lord of this swamp, poison swallowing toad. It was rank for having a small body and fed on poison as food. If a goo master is poisoned, activating it to absorb the poison would result in a healing effect. Its speed was bad, but entering the deep parts of the swamp and luring it out is harder. Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing did not have any healing goo. 
If they were bitten by a poisonous creature, it would result in much trouble. Furthermore, finding a tiny poison swallowing frog in a large swamp was extremely difficult. The two finally moved towards the northeast direction, finding a beehive as huge as a house. Inside there was a large number of a terrifying insect group, the frenzy needle bee. These bees were even greater trouble. Frenzy needle bee once becoming a goo, had the ability to penetrate all things. That is to say, even with Bai Ning Bing sky canopy goo protection, it would be pierced by the rank 3 frenzy needles. The winds howled in the night. Winds blew into the mountain caves as the campfire flickered in response. This was a small mound, and a cave was found inside. This cave did not have an optimum location, first it did not face against the wind, thus winds blew into the cave and caused it to be very moist. Next the top was not covered, like a well as the stars in the skies could be seen. Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing were solemn, sitting around the fire. Fang Yuan was expressionless while Bai Ning Bing sighed in disappointment, these few days we explored the surroundings completely, although your idea is great, we have no suitable targets. It seems we can only give up on the Lava Crocodile King. Plans are made by men, but success is decided by the heavens, we have insufficient strength, thus we can only rely on luck for some things. Never mind, I still wanted to raise the Crocodile Strength Goo, but it seems we cannot kill the Lava Crocodile King. Tomorrow we will set off, and continue towards Bai Gu Mountain. Fang Yuan nodded helplessly. But at this time, suddenly from the outside, the Lava Crocodile King's furious growls could be heard. What happened? It is that Lava Crocodile King. The two made eye contact as they left the cave, looking towards a faraway place. Only to see that in the valley, rainbow colors were shining as the flames burnt brightly, giving off an imposing aura. In the brilliant rainbow light, a pheasant as large as a mountain showed its body. Its crown shone like gold, erecting highly. The feathers on its body shone in all colors, changing all the time and giving an out-of-this-world brilliance. Oh no, it is the Xian Yuan Divine Pheasant, a myriad beast king level bird. The Lava Crocodile King is done for, Fang Yuan said immediately. Xian Yuan Divine Pheasant. Bai Ning Bing was perturbed. This is a lone traveling myriad beast king, able to fly in the skies, only landing to find food. Divine Pheasant is low in numbers, they have all sorts of rainbow goo in their bodies. Once they battle, the skies would be filled with rainbow lights, shining in five to seven different lights. Sigh, we can't get the Lava Crocodile King anymore. Let's hurry in, this divine pheasant is extremely sharp eyed like an eagle. If it finds us and comes for the killing, we would be in great trouble. Saying so, Fang Yuan retreated into the cave. Bai Ning Bing bit her lips as she followed closely behind. Chapter 208 Escape An hour later, the Lava Crocodile King cried out one last time before it went silent. Soon after, Bai Ning Bing and Fang Yuan heard the sound of the Xian Yuan Divine Pheasant pecking its food. But Xian Yuan Divine Pheasant's appetite was huge, and one Lava Crocodile King could not satisfy its hunger. This night, Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing did not sleep. After the Lava Crocodile King's cries, they heard the white ape screaming, the poison swallowing toad screech, and the fluttering of the bee groups. Most importantly, there was the Xian Yuan Divine Pheasant's loud cry. Only until evening did the Xian Yuan Divine Pheasant fly into the skies, drawing a rainbow behind its path. Seeing the trail of the rainbow disappearing in the sky, Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing finally dared to walk out of the cave. The two came to the original valley. The valley was completely wrecked, half destroyed. The lava crocodile king laid belly side up on the ground, as dead as it could be. Its stomach was pried open by the Xian Yuan divine pheasant, and the flesh and intestines within were all eaten. 
Only its remaining skeleton held together by the dark red crocodile skin was left. The two searched for a while. They soon found a red glass fragment, this was the remains of the flame stomach goo. Evidently, the lava crocodile king activated the flame stomach goo for defense, but it was forcefully defeated by the Xian Yuan divine pheasant, causing the flame stomach goo to be destroyed. As for the other two goo, lava explosion and accumulating ash goo, they were nowhere to be found. This was nothing strange. Once the host dies, the goo worms inhibiting the wild beasts' bodies will leave and roam around like they've lost their homes. Accumulating ash goo was a very ideal healing goo, perfect for Fang Yuan situation. But things did not go according to one's will most of the time. Not obtaining the accumulating ash goo was within Fang Yuan's expectations. But, they did not return empty-handed. There was still some flesh left in the lava crocodile king's corpse. The Xian Yuan divine pheasant ate most of the corpse, but left behind some scraps that Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing could take. After working for an afternoon, they finally cut out all the meat and stored it in the Tusita flour. These crocodile meat is enough to feed the crocodile strength goo for three months. Let's explore other areas. Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing came to the territory of the white apes. The dense forest earlier had white ape groups playing and swinging around. But now everywhere there was broken trees, with white ape limbs in the mix, some old, crippled or young apes defended the corpses of their kin as they cried out loud, the entire forest covered in an atmosphere of sadness and devastation. The Xian Yuan divine pheasant had caused a catastrophe to this thousand beast group the night before. Right now only two or three hundred were left, and the last few hundred beast king white apes were all injured. Bai Ning Bing stared with shining eyes, right now the white ape group is at their weakest, shall we attack? Fang Yuan stopped her. Not that he pitied these white apes, but knew that in a way, they were even more dangerous now. An army burning with righteous indignation is bound to win, don't mess with these white apes. Once you do, they'll attack in rage, relentlessly attacking until we're dead. Those few hundred beast kings, although they are injured, it is not something you can deal with alone. By Ningbing hearing so, looked at Fang Yuan before giving up on her plan to attack. The two moved towards the southwest area, towards the rotten swamp. The swamp had turned into a completely different site, ravaged by the Xian Yuan divine pheasant. Their living environment had been greatly destroyed, and the swamp's major forces were redistributed. Although the Xian Yuan divine pheasant left, the swamp was not in peace. All sorts of poisonous beings were killing each other, in chaos. Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing stood at the fringe of the swamp, in only a while, they saw three battles occurring. One sight was of two brightly colored poisonous snakes battling, until one was swallowed by the other. But not long after, a crab-sized scorpion came and stabbed the poisonous snake to death. The second battle was between a poison powder moth and an eerie blue toad. When battle ensued, the toad stretched its tongue and swallowed the moth. A moment later, the moth died of suffocation in the toad's mouth, but the toad was also poisoned to death by the powder. The third battle was between a face-sized black spider, coming out from the mud. Its body was covered in ants, after a while the ants won, and completely devoured the spider. Seeing such a chaotic scene, Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing left immediately. Finally they came to the nest of the frenzy needlebee group. The house-like beehive had collapsed completely, the surroundings was quiet, not a single frenzy needlebee was left. The two got closer. Immediately, the fragrant smell of sesame entered by Ning Bing's nose as she sniffed, what smell is that? The smell of the beehive. Frenzy needlebee do not create honey, but their hives are a great goo refinement material. At the same time, it is a kind of food that humans can consume directly. Fang Yuan said so, 
stretching his arm into the beehive. Crack. The beehive fragments were dark yellow color. Under Bai Ning Bing's curious gaze, he placed the beehive into his mouth, biting and crushing it in a few bites, swallowing it. The beehive tasted like biscuits on earth, fragrant and crispy. But undeniably, this naturally produced food was much more delicious than biscuits. It carried a light sweetness, not oily at all, but instead having a refreshing flavor. Mmm, good taste. Bai Ning Bing also took a piece to eat, and after consuming it, she felt her mouth salivating, the sweet flavor caused her frowning eyebrows to ease subconsciously. Our salted meat and dry biscuits are finishing. We should collect some beehives and store it in your tusita flower, Bai Ning Bing suggested. Fang Yuan looked at the sky, his expression slightly worried, I have the same thought, but we have to move quickly. You're worried that the blood smell of the lava crocodile king as well as the white ape's corpse will attract new wild beasts. Rest easy, there is no wind today, wild beasts will not be attracted over, at least not in the meantime. During this period, we can collect to our heart's content, Bai Ning Bing laughed. Fang Yuan shook his head, about to speak when suddenly his expression changed. Buzz buzz buzz. The sound of bees buzzing and flying entered their ears. Bai Ning Bing looked at the sky immediately, only to see a thick cloud formed by numerous frenzy needle bees attacking towards them. The frenzy needle beehive, although destroyed by Xian Yuan Divine Pheasant, and the most delicious piece of the beehive at the center was eaten, the frenzy needle bees were not reduced much in numbers. Frenzy needle bees could not cause damage to the Xian Yuan divine pheasant, so after the latter ate enough, it did not waste extra energy in exterminating these insignificant things. Frenzy needle bee group's house was destroyed, and because they had low intelligence, they started attacking the Xian Yuan divine pheasant. But once the Xian Yuan divine pheasant flew high into the sky, they no longer had the strength to pursue them, and were unable to continue chasing thus they could only return to their hive and reconstruct their houses. Afterwards, they saw two youngsters standing in their house eating their hive. Under this situation, what hesitation was there? The fury towards the Xian Yuan divine pheasant earlier, was completely transferred to Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing. At once, numerous frenzy needle bees flapped their wings and rained down on the two. Bai Ning Bing was stunned. Why are you still not running? Fang Yuan turned around and left, taking huge strides. Being reminded like this, Bai Ning Bing immediately turned around and chased after Fang Yuan. The frenzy needle bee group was behind them, relentlessly chasing. Fang Yuan ran in front while Bai Ning Bing fell behind. They did not have a movement type goo, thus Bai Ning Bing was quickly caught by the bee group. Chink chink chink. Bai Ning Bing activated the sky canopy goo, and a white armor appeared but flickered immediately, receiving almost a thousand attacks in just a moment. Frenzy Needle Bee's needle were tough as steel, extremely sturdy. Together with their high speed flying, it was no inferior to a needle rain attack. Large numbers cause a qualitative change. Bai Ning Bing's primeval essence continued to reduce, the bee group's attacks are not to be underestimated, what was more troubling, was that some of the frenzy needle bees had become goo. Rank 3 frenzy needle bee goo had piercing ability, so even the sky canopy goo could not defend against it. Bai Ning Bing's back was quickly pierced and she bled, causing her to grunt in pain, while her running speed broke her usual limits due to the stimulation. Bai Ning Bing had never thought she could run so quickly on her own. With her speed, it looked like mountain rocks and trees came flying at her, and she had to concentrate with all her mind to dodge them, if she was tripped by anything, the bees would surround her at the first opportunity. Under such an attack, she was dead meat. With Bai Ning Bing behind him tanking the pressure, Fang Yuan's situation was much better. He activated his primeval essence, injecting them into his carapace goo at his back. 
the skin on his back became uneven, slightly bulging and becoming a tough and thick crocodile skin armor. Ordinary frenzy needle bees could not penetrate the crocodile skin armor, and the few bigu were attracted by by Ningbing. After running for another 15 minutes, the bees still chased relentlessly. Fang Yuan and Bai Ningbing were panting as their speed started to reduce. There's hope, there's a lake in front. As the situation turned dire, Fang Yuan suddenly shouted. Bai Ningbing was overjoyed. Trees became less densely packed as a blue-white light appeared, expanding within the greenery. The two rushed out of the forest, and a lake was seen. Fang Yuan did not hesitate, and with a plop, he jumped into the lake. Bai Ningbing followed closely behind. Swish swish swish. Frenzy needle bees were bent on getting them, diving into the water as well. Bai Ningbing's white armor shook intensely, as she received a large number of attacks. As the intense pain hit her, she bit her lips and paddled with her hands, swimming towards the deeper parts of the water. A moment later, Fang Yuan and Bai Ningbing emerged from the opposite shore. The smell of the beehive on their bodies had been washed away, and when looking back at their original spot, there were large numbers of frenzy needle bees indignantly flying about, attacking the water out of frustration. Although the frenzy needle bees were small, they were resilient. Even if they fell into the lake, as long as it was not too deep, they would resurface. Damn it! Bai Ningbing cursed, still feeling the lingering fear from earlier. Her expression was ugly. Be it the Xian Yuan Divine Pheasant, or White Ape Group, or even the Frenzy Needlebee Group, none of them were those she could deal with. If last night she was found by the Xian Yuan Divine Pheasant, she would become its meal. Rank 3 cultivation in this cruel world of nature was the bottom of the hierarchy. I've had enough. When will we reach Baigu Mountain? Shush, be quiet. Fang Yuan's expression was solemn, he half squatted as his finger touched the remains of a fire that had been put out earlier. Bai Ningbing immediately frowned deeply. Undeniably, these were traces left behind by humans. Chapter 209 Encountering a Demonic Gu Master. The lake water was still reflecting the clear blue sky and white clouds. Even after losing the frenzy needle bee's chase, Fang Yuan and Bai Ningbing's mood were solemn. Because in front of them, there was traces left behind that signified this area was once used by people to start a fire and cook meat. Earth Communication Ear Grass Fang Yuan willed and roots grew out of his ear, as they extended into the ground and dug their way in, Fang Yuan's hearing became many times stronger. After listening for a while, his expression loosened up, as there was no one ambushing in the vicinity. Soon after, he went to the remains of the fire and touched the ashes, not letting go of any evidence that he could find. The fire was started half a month ago, the other party is alone and should not be nearby. After a while, Fang Yuan concluded from his findings. Alone. Gu masters from a clan have to travel in fives. It seems this person is a demonic Gu master. Bai Ningbing frowned as she sighed. If it was a Gu master from a clan, they would be righteous Gu masters, and there is hope of interaction. If it was a demonic Gu master, once they meet a battle is assured. This situation is not because righteous people are kind, while demonic people are evil but because when one is alone, they would display their true nature, there are no restraints in the wild, thus they act without reservation. Righteous Gu masters, move in groups. When they handle matters, they will think about the opinions of the people with them, thus they would act more closely to society's norm. Demonic Gu masters often moved alone, and were very vigilant, having a strong instinct towards danger. Without anyone to rely on, they would always act to determine and ensure their own safety. This was not good news to Fang Yuan and Bai Ningbing. When meeting righteous clan-based Gu masters, they could avoid battle. 
but if they met a demonic Gu master, there would definitely fight, unless they displayed sufficient strength that would cause the demonic Gu master to shrink in fear and suspicion. Unfortunately, Gu masters that could roam around these wilderness alone have around rank for cultivation, and special methods of their own. How many weaklings would there be? For Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing, one was a new rank 3 while the other was rank 1 initial stage. Without sufficient Gu worms to cover all grounds, even when they traveled in the woods, it was full of danger and every step was a difficult gamble. If they encountered a demonic Gu master, they will most likely be done for. Thankfully we discovered the traces of this campfire, so from now on we should not blinding rush our journey, but recuperate and at least mend our current wounds back to full health, Fang Yuan said. Bai Ning Bing nodded. After being reminded, she also felt her back hurting. Fang Yuan summoned the Tusita flower, taking out bandages and medicine, giving a large portion to Bai Ning Bing. Although the carapace Gu's defensive area was small, usually being useless, this time it helped Fang Yuan by a lot. And because Bai Ning Bing attracted most of the firepower, Fang Yuan barely had any injuries. He quickly handled his wounds, and rushed over to help Bai Ning Bing. Bai Ning Bing took off her upper shirt. Numerous fingertip sized holes filled her back, causing fear to whoever who saw it. Frenzy Needle B is rank 3, large in numbers and also having penetrating abilities, it countered the Sky Canopy Goo. But Bai Ning Bing also used the Ice Muscles Goo before, so with two layers of defense, her life was saved. TSK TSK Bai Ning Bing gritted her teeth, breathing in deeply as she endured the pain of cleaning the wound, soon after, the injury was bandaged. Fang Yuan placed the empty medicine cans and the last remaining bandage into the Tusita flower. We have little medication items left, the same with bandages. Even though we have been thrifty and even reused the bandages when we could, it seems we really need to find a healing goo as soon as possible. Fang Yuan stood up with a solemn expression. Medication is an expendable item, and was difficult to make, and takes time to collect. If they had a healing goo, not only would the effect be better, it also used primeval essence that can be naturally recovered. With this comparison, the superior one stood out easily. But an ideal goo worm is too hard to find. The truth is, within this half a month, they encountered many chances, but they either had insufficient strength, or it was an inappropriate environment, lacking proper preparations to capture the goo. We have to get a healing goo. But before that, I have a problem here, Bai Ning Bing suddenly said. What problem? Fang Yuan raised his eyebrows. Bai Ning Bing was naked above and she turned over and pointed to her chest, eh, these two lumps of meat, they are in the way. When I run they will jump all over the place, and even in battle they are a burden. I want to slice them off, but I'm worried the injury would be too severe. Without a healing goo worm, I might get into even more trouble. She was the Bai clan genius, focused on cultivation. She barely knew anything outside of it, thus having even less concern towards females. Even though Bai Ning Bing had turned into a girl, she had lived as a guy for her entire life, thus she didn't care in her mind and did not treat this body as anything sacred. After all, she knew that the Yang Gu in Fang Yuan's possession could give her back the body of a male anyway. Thus, Bai Ning Bing had never thought of herself as a girl. Fang Yuan stared at her emotionlessly. There will be too many problems with slicing them off, you can wrap them up. Wrap what? Bai Ning Bing asked. Use the bandage to wrap around your bosom and treat them like an injury. Then they will be fixed in place, Fang Yuan said. Bai Ning Bing's expression was helpless and anguished, sighing, sigh, that's the best I can do now. The sun gradually sank as the night sky descended. There were streams of wild beasts coming to the lake to drink water, and the two did not dare to stay there for long. Fang Yuan found a naturally formed cave at a nearby steep cliff. 
Although it was slightly cramped, it was safe. After clearing the birds living within it, the place became their temporary residence. Few days later, Bai Ningbing's injuries recovered mostly. The two continued on their journey, towards Bai Gu Mountain. But considering that mysterious demonic Gu Master, on this trip Fang Yuan was extra cautious, constantly stopping and using the earth communication ear grass to check the surroundings. On the second day of their journey, their cautiousness reaped them good rewards. He found burnt wood under a tree, evidently caused by the demonic Gu Master. On the third day, they examined traces of an intense battle near a stream. The corpse of a large green python lay there, the meat fully eaten by wild beasts, leaving behind only a skeleton. The ground was full of its scales, and the stream even moved in a new path, after many trees were broken and chopped down. Fang Yuan observed for a while, his tone relaxing, that demonic Gu Master once fought an intense battle here with the green python. This is a hundred beast king green python. To undergo such a fight, it seems that this demonic Gu Master also has rank 3 cultivation. But even so, Fang Yuan did not want to meet with this demonic Gu Master. He would rather deal with unintelligent wild beasts or Gu Masters. Gu Masters have intelligence, and would use every bit of strength wisely. A rank 3 demonic Gu Master has much greater threat to Fang Yuan and Bai Ningbing compared to the Frenzy Needle Bee. But things do not go according to wishes, and on the afternoon of that day, the two found traces of the demonic Gu Master once again. This demonic Gu Master is injured. There is some flesh that was cut away, on the ground here, so it seems the Gu Master got poisoned, Fang Yuan said. On Earth, there are no poisonous pythons. But in here, they were extremely common. Upon hearing so, Bai Ningbing's eyes shone brightly. Undeniably this was good news. The weaker the demonic Gu Master, the more advantageous it is for them. For the next few days, the trace left behind by the demonic Gu Master increased. With his 500 years of experience, Fang Yuan deduced that they were getting closer towards the injured demonic Gu Master. Be extra careful, I can deduce that this Gu Master's injury is getting more severe, and the green python's poison has severely infected his, her body. But because of this, a demonic Gu Master's attitude would easily become more extreme, Fang Yuan reminded Bai Ningbing. Battle would definitely be handled by Bai Ningbing. Fang Yuan's rank 1 initial stage cultivation is useless. The greatest advantage now was that the enemy was out in the open, while Fang Yuan and Bai Ningbing were hidden. The two moved with even more vigilance than before. They moved even more slowly, and moved with less distance than before. Eventually, on one afternoon, Fang Yuan opened his eyes, keeping the roots coming out of his ears, I found that demonic Gu Master. That person is in that cave, at their last breath. Just earlier, he heard the sound of human breathing in that cave. Strike while the enemy is weak. Bai Ningbing aspired to battle, revealing ruthlessness in her eyes. But she was stopped by Fang Yuan. Be patient. We do not need to strike. With this situation, in just a few days she will die of poison. I see. Bai Ningbing's killing intent reduced. But at this time. The two outside, why bother hiding? I've already found you. A weak voice came from the cave. Hearing this, it was clear that the demonic Gu master was female. Fang Yuan's expression changed, immediately retreating. Don't you want my primeval stones, my goo worms? The voice came from the cave again. Fang Yuan and Bai Ningbing moved even more quickly. Although the other party was weak, her tone was firm. There was definitely some traps put in place that allowed her to be fearless. Moreover, no one is foolish enough to risk it out with a dying person. Leaving after coming here. Hee <laughs> hee, there's no such easy way out you shall all stay. 
suddenly, a body came out of the cave. All up to you. Fang Yuan's body flickered, hiding his presence. By Ningbing clicked her tongue, activating the sky canopy goo and summoning the chainsaw golden centipede, engaging the enemy. The two fought for three rounds, and the demonic goo master was suppressed. She was a middle-aged woman without shoes, having large feet and thick black fur growing on her soles. Her face and limbs had a peculiar green color, it was caused by the green python's poison. After a moment, the demonic female goo master gradually could not contest. Suddenly, she stepped the ground firmly and jumped back into the cave. By Ningbing chased after relentlessly. Don't chase her. Fang Yuan suddenly reminded, but did not make it in time. Bam! A loud explosion occurred right under by Ningbing's feet as her entire body was blown away. Chapter 210 Plotting Rocks and fragments flew, as smoke rose into the air. By Ningbing was sent flying to the ground, but with a jump, she stood up again. She had the protection of the sky canopy goo and was uninjured, but the sky canopy goo in her aperture took the impact, her white armor fading by at least 30%. What the fuck? By Ningbing cursed, concentrating and looking over. The explosion site had turned into a 2 to 3 meter crater. Inside the cave, the demonic female goo master laughed smugly, good. Even if I didn't kill you this time, Come at me again if you have the guts, little woman. Humph, Bai Ningbing snorted. Although she was furious, she was not an impulsive person. During the earlier explosion, although the sky canopy goo protected her, if she took a few more hits, the sky canopy goo would have been destroyed. What was that earlier? An explosion suddenly burst from the ground, so if I left the ground, would I be able to avoid such an attack? Bai Ningbing thought in her heart. She was not stupid, although naive and pure in some areas, and her battle instincts and wits were still at genius level. I do not have a flying goo, and if I leap I am bound to touch the ground, no, I do not have to attack. This person's words earlier was trying to incite me to attack, hee <laughs> hee. Thinking so, Bai Ningbing laughed darkly, do you think you are safe if you hide in the cave? I just have to camp here, you will come out eventually. Ha ha ha, then wait all you want. I have prepared a large amount of food, and you are vulnerable to the weather outside, so let's see who will outlast the other. The demonic female goo master retorted. Bai Ningbing laughed coldly, for the longer they dragged, the more beneficial it was for her. Because this demonic female goo master was poisoned by the green python, she would get weaker as time passed. But at this time, Fang Yuan cupped his fist at the demonic female goo master. We met by coincidence in the wild, we are purely passing by. Sai, making things difficult for you, is the same as making life hard for ourselves. I hope we do not meet again. Farewell. Saying so, he turned around and left. Go where? She is only a rank 3 goo master, as long as we grasp that explosion method, we are assured to win. Bai Ningbing frowned. Fang Yuan snorted, you are also rank 3, but I am rank 1. Let's hurry on the journey, stop creating so much troubles. Better safe than sorry. Bai Ningbing was stunned, but quickly understood Fang Yuan was acting. Although she did not know what he was planning, with her understanding of him, she decided to cooperate with him, pretending to be angry, you are always so cowardly, Sai, never mind, I'll spare your life. She looked at the demonic female goo master deeply, not hiding her killing intent. Soon after, she followed Fang Yuan into the woods, out of the demonic female goo master's field of vision. After they got enough distance, Bai Ningbing broke the silence, that explosion technique of hers is not a problem. When she fought me earlier, she did not use it. Only when she stepped into the cave and I got into range did the explosion occur. I'm guessing she buried the goo ahead of time, and cannot move it. 
we can lure a group of wild beasts and use them to test out her traps. These words fully displayed by Ning Bing's talent for battle. But Fang Yuan laughed, asking instead, then what comes next? Bai Ning Bing was stunned. Fang Yuan squinted his eyes, his eyes shining brightly, according to what you said, luring a group of wild beasts to test her traps, so what? Forcing her into a dead end, once she knows she has no chance to survive, she will risk her life to battle, at least bringing one of us with her. Even if we survive, we will suffer losses. Plus, even if we defeat her, she will carry the thought of not leaving anything valuable to us, and destroy all her goo worms. For a goo master to destroy his own goo worms, it only takes a thought. We have no method to prevent it, so after we kill her, we won't get any goo worms. What benefit is there to us? Bai Ningbing frowned. Earlier, they had guarded against this demonic goo master, afraid of getting ambushed by her, it was to protect themselves. But once they found out that she was not too strong, their intentions changed completely. It was to kill this weakened demonic goo master, and take her goo worms, strengthening themselves. Wild goo worms were of all types, but those with suitable ranks and were easy to feed were few. A goo master's goo worms were all carefully selected, considering all aspects. If they can be obtained, it would be much better than capturing wild goo worms. But very few people can obtain goo worms after killing their enemies. Other than dying in battle, goo masters just need one thought to order the goo worm to destroy itself. Many of those defeated have enough time to react, and would not leave their goo worms to the mortal enemies that kill them. It would not be hard to kill this demonic goo master. But to take all her goo worms, it would be difficult. Don't you have a plunder goo? Bai Ningbing asked. One plunder goo can have little effect. Dealing with wild beasts is still fine, but against goo masters, to succeed we need to fulfill harsh conditions. Fang Yuan shook his head. Bai Ningbing suddenly thought of something, worried. If we leave like this and end up allowing her to escape easily, what would we do then? Fang Yuan laughed heartily, saying confidently, in the short period, she will not escape. Righteous Gu masters, either clan or sect-based, would receive a degree of nurturing, and had higher quality. Conversely, demonic Gu masters were often uneven in quality. Some were traitors of the righteous path, thus these people have been trained and have Gu master foundations. However, some were farmers or hunters that obtained a chance to awaken their aperture, obtaining some inheritance and were considered half-baked. This demonic female goo master has a rough accent and poor fighting tactics. She does not have enough survival experience either. Everywhere she goes, she leaves behind traces, and even after getting injured, she does not conceal the blood traces. I see that her body is tough and healthy, having large hands and feet. She is most likely a farmer, only lucky to have gotten an inheritance. Fang Yuan continued analyzing, that explosion earlier should be a rank 2 grass goo that she buried in advance, called the charred thunder potato. No matter who steps on it, an explosion will occur. A farmer peasant, how much knowledge can she have? Getting python poison and being unable to cure it, with her worsening injuries, she feels frightened and unsafe, thus she subconsciously planted many charred thunder potatoes in front of the cave. If we force her, she might do some extreme things. But if we leave on purpose, she will have a breather and temporarily relax her emotions. She might even suspect whether or not did we truly leave. There are dangers outside, and she might encounter us. Meanwhile, those charred thunder potatoes give her the greatest assurance. Thus in this short period, she is not going to leave. Bai Ningbing was expressionless, listening quietly. As much as she denied it, she had to agree with Fang Yuan's analysis. What he said made sense, almost like he could see the events before him, she could not compare to him. You analyzed well, but she has poison on her, there is no way to drag. 
she will eventually leave the cave, Bai Mingbing retorted. Fang Yuan nodded, pointing at his right ear, thus, we have to surveil her. His earth communication ear grass Gu, although only rank 2, had much greater range than most rank 3 Gu worms. Bai Ningbing shook her head. Humph, your decision has problems too. Activating the earth communication ear grass requires continuous primeval essence expenditure. Even if you have the heavenly essence treasure lotus and can recover primeval essence quickly, one person's effort is ultimately limited. You have to rest and sleep, you can't be checking on her all the time right? Facing this suspicion, Fang Yuan rolled his eyes, how come you're becoming stupid? There is one of her and two of us. Gu worms could be lent, so they could use the earth communication ear grass gu interchangeably, in intervals. Bai Ning Bing's expression froze, shame flashing across her eyes. Fuck. Such a simple issue, how could I not think of it? She gritted her teeth, begrudging her own lowly mistake. Fang Yuan laughed secretly. The root of the matter was that Bai Ning Bing did not want Fang Yuan to suppress her, thus she subconsciously wanted to retort Fang Yuan as much as she could, instead causing her to lose her bearings instead. Fang Yuan was happy to see such retorts, for each time Bai Ningbing failed, it would cause her to be subdued further. This submission is negligible, but it was a subtle influence, and even Bai Ningbing herself could not detect it. One day when she finally realizes it, she would already be under Fang Yuan's rule. To Fang Yuan, this demonic female Gu Master was only one target, while Bai Ningbing was the second target. Chen Chui Hua was shell-shocked. She was originally a farmer, and one day when plowing the fields, she fell into a cave. In the cave, she found a corpse, and became a Gu Master after receiving the inheritance out of the blue. Gu Master Chen Chui Hua never thought that one day she would become one of the esteemed Lord Gu Masters herself. But after a short happiness, disaster ensued. A mountain leopard as large as a buffalo assaulted her village with green winds surrounding its body. The entire village was wiped out, and she was chased by the mountain leopard, but managed to escape due to her goo worms. After roaming the wilderness for half a year, her goo worms died out one by one, and finally, she encountered a large python. Although she killed it, she was also poisoned as a result. And today, she met two Gu Masters. This was the third time she met Gu Masters. The first two taught her a painful lesson, letting her learn how to protect herself. But she was still a half-baked Gu Master, severely lacking foundations. Thinking of the earlier battle, she panicked. She was not the girl's match. Luckily, she had buried many charred thunder potatoes earlier. And thankfully, the male was meek and cowardly, choosing to leave. Chen Chui Hua saw their bodies vanish into the forest and breathed a sigh of relief. But she was not certain that they had truly left. Her investigative goo worm could allow her to see everything within 350 steps. The clarity was as if they are right in front of her. But she did not have X-ray vision. I'll wait a few days, I'll go out after three days, Chen Chui Hua thought to herself. At this point, she had already learnt to be vigilant and patient. 